I'm Yanis Papadopoulos and I lead a group on dependable intelligent systems. I'm talking about things like autonomous cars, surgical robots, or robots that will take care of old people, or drones that in the future we will send to deliver goods, or financial algorithms that in the future will take the majority of the decisions in the stock market. These are systems which must be reliable and trustworthy because if they fail, they can have catastrophic consequences for people and the environment, for the economy and the society. For example, the autonomous car can fail to detect a pedestrian and they may kill the pedestrian. Or a financial algorithm may take some erroneous decisions. These errors can multiply and can bring the whole system down and damage the global economy. In the university here, we take these risks very, very seriously. So for 25 years, we have been working in developing methods and tools to improve the trustworthiness of AI, artificial intelligence, and intelligence systems. And one of the tools that we develop is called the Hip Hop tool. And the tool we do failure analysis and improvement of this model, and then propose design improvements that will mask or remove those faults and improve its trustworthiness. It uses evolutionary techniques similar to the ones that nature uses to evolve the species, something that we pioneered here and we call penguin algorithms. And these are algorithms that uh, capture the social intelligence or the collaboration of penguins in a colony by encoding these algorithms into the computer, we are able to solve engineering problems by sending to them software penguins. There's something else that we have developed, which I think is very much in the state of the art. We call it safety of machine learning or safe ML. Machine learning algorithms, they learn from data to do specific things. For example, in a car, to detect pedestrians. You use the camera and algorithms to detect pedestrians. But one problem with machine learning is that if in operation the data that you get is different from the training data, perhaps because it is raining, perhaps because the images are blurred, then the machine learning algorithm will become untrustworthy and erroneous. And SafeML, what we develop, does precisely this it can give an estimate of confidence in the accuracy of machine learning, which of course is really important for the safety of the car. This technology has achieved global technology transfer. So there are many large organizations that use these tools, from Honeywell Aerospace in the US, to Huawei in China, Toyota and Honda in Japan, Volvo in Sweden, to Fiat in Italy and to Embraer in Brazil. In the last Research Excellence Framework, this work was ranked internationally excellent. The challenges will continue to exist and new challenges will come. And I feel that the most important thing is working with young people and setting common goals and working towards these goals and helping them also to develop their careers and becoming useful scientists that can provide useful things to society. It is very rewarding to see the work of my group having such impact, academic and industrial. And it is precisely that working with these people that I find most rewarding about being in the University of Hull and being in academia.